Hi guys, welcome back for another one. I am Mr. Free to Play. That is right, I'm a free to play player and I give free to play player advice, tips, tricks, and other things. In this video, we're going to try something new. We're going to troll some Reddit comments. We're not going to actually post anything. We're just going to talk about them and have some fun. And then obviously, I'm going to give you my free to play player advice because sometimes I just don't agree with some of these people post on here. So anyways, try this out for fun. If you like it, Hit that like button, leave a comment if you think find anything funny about it, or if you guys just say, no, don't do this again, I'll take that. That's better than hitting the, the down button, because I don't know why you hit the down button if you hit the down button. Okay, anyways, let's get into it. First off, every Monday on Reddit, they always have this meme Monday. I found this one, found it quite hilarious. When a whale starts losing against a free-to-play player, that's it. I'm getting me wallet. Oh, uh, I think that's true. I, I, I know people in this game that like, they feel so much pressure to spend money on this game, and I, I honestly, I understand. I sometimes I get those feelings too, but at the end of the day, I, I know, I know what they're trying to do, and yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. What are Red Star supposed to do exactly? As written by Sid Will. I'm a launch player and I've got no useful Red Stars above five. Members of my alliance are consistently showing off their lucky pools and the feeling I get seeing them isn't jealous isn't jealousy exactly. It's more a growing hopelessness. Without any actual way to work towards a red star, it's actually discouraging me from spending money. Surely that's the opposite effect to what the developers intended. I don't spend on shard orbs because unless I have red stars the character I unlock is going to be next to useless. I don't spend on red star orbs because they're a super low odd slot machine that just absorbs money and no guaranteed of a result. They certainly don't make the game more fun. They make it uneven, unbalanced. Now raids are actively designed to require them to get anywhere past 30. It actually feels like they're excluding me from the content of the game has barely any content in the first place. Many alliances require CP levels and character team powers that can only be achieved with strong red stars now. It's not about effort, planning, or skill anymore. It's what you randomly pull out of a goddamn mystery bag. How is this healthy for the game in any way? Well, said Will. It's not healthy <laughs> at all. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly... I'm surprised it's taking you this long to feel that way, to be honest. Anyways, let's see what some people have wrote. To make you spend money, yep. How, it's not. <laughs> um, also, don't be discouraged by other posts for on your alliance. You read about a Red Star Colossus on Reddit every day. It happens like one out of... Was that a million players? The vocal minority. Um, you shouldn't spend money on the game at this point. I think it's hitting a decline, and I think they'll pull the plug in a year or two. Whoa, that is some dark stuff. They're in milk mode, not really caring about the players. Not really caring about what the players want. Don't stop playing. It's a fun game, but it's heavily monetized, and you should just enjoy it while we have it. I'd really sad to see this game go in a year or two. I really would be. Um, but yeah, they're, the way they want to make money is just... I can't even come up with a word to best describe it without being either too soft or too hard. Anyways, quite honestly, I wouldn't mind if they were able to monetize this through like ads. Like, okay, watch an ad and you get shards for something. Obviously, it's not enough to open an orb, but over time, you have enough to open orbs. Um, I know of a game that has this kind of mechanic for free-to-play players where if they want to support the game, they can watch ads for it. And in return, they usually get something for it. It's nothing game-breaking or anything like that, but it's just a little bit of something. And over time, you know, you can get something bigger with it, but you have to, you know, support the game by doing it consistently. All right, found a good meme. Let's read through this one. A six-year-old boy who was in the New York courtroom yesterday when he challenged a court ruling over who should have custody of him. The boy had a history of being beaten by his parents and the judge awarded the custody to his aunt in keeping with custody <laughs> with keeping with child custody law and regulation requiring that the family unity be maintained to the highest degree possible. The boy surprised the court when he proclaimed that his aunt beats him 
just like his parents and refused to live with her. When the judge suggested that he live with his grandparents, the boy cried that they also beat him. Now learning that violence was apparently a way of life for the family, the judge took the unprecedented step of allowing the boy to propose who should have custody of him. After conferring with child welfare, welfare officials, the judge grant temporary custody to the hand team, who the boy firmly believes is not capable of beating anyone. <laughs> uh, okay, hopefully, I'm hoping this isn't a real story that they just kind of uh, put something over. If not, it's a pretty sad story for that old boy. But in the context of the Marvel Strike Force game, that is pretty funny because the hand team doesn't beat anybody. They are pretty bad. If I want to lose, if I want to lose, if I want to lose in blitz, I'm putting my hand team in. Alright, and the last one we're going to cover here on Reddit for this video is Who else is loving the raid event milestones? By the time this video is coming out, this this milestone event is going to be over. But I'm going to cover this anyway because I do have an opinion of it and I didn't cover it on any other video. So, let's finish reading this. Might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm really liking the Celebrated Spirits event. It's fun plugging in your not-so-usual tunes like Nebula for raids. Before I read the comments of everyone else posted on this on this one, let me give you my let me give you my opinion. One, I really like it. Anytime there's an event that can give you more stuff, I like it, regardless if I can actually do it at the moment or not. There were some days where I was able to really help out, and there's some days where I wasn't able to help out that much. The thing I didn't really like about the Celebrated Spirits is Wolverine was a part of it. Wasn't a big fan of that. I still haven't pulled my orbs. I'll be pulling those tomorrow's my, my Tuesday orb opening. Uh, video that you guys have seen at this point. So I wasn't a big fan of, of Wolverine being part of it. I was pretty happy to see Minerva. Uh, I would like to see more of this. I really would. Like I said, anytime they give us more stuff for just doing things that we normally do and changing it up. So like, like for example, like I always go through the the raids with my BKT team. Like I just, I just do. It's it's simple. I understand the format. I have the same lane. I know how to clear it off the fastest way possible. A lot of times Rocket will come in and just ultimate everyone down to nothing. It makes it even more quicker. And I imagine if people who have bigger CP power than me probably just use Rocket's ult and the match is over every single time. But anyways, but being all like, oh, maybe I should use my shield team for this event. Oh, maybe I should just Put together a random team and see how they do to get some extra points like it kind of made me really think the only thing i didn't like is we didn't get much of a heads up and so it didn't give me time to actually build a character up to whatever gear tier they needed to be at to um achieve extra points giving us a heads up will help us build a character so if, like if i'm super close like oh yeah that's cool i'll put them together and i'll be able to array with them we got kind of really last minute notice on this event which kind of sucked but that's kind of my thoughts on it let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about it. If you guys like to see it come back, um, I wouldn't be surprised if it does come back around Christmas time and they do a Christmas one, which is would be pretty neat. So it looks like the only reason I like it because I got 20 Minerva shards, taking up to five stars. Um, I need more than 20 to get five stars, so I'm jealous already. I'm here getting eight Wolverine shards. Yeah, I'm not gonna be too happy if I get one. If I get Wolverine and two, if I'm getting really low count shards, I mean it is extra free stuff. I won't complain, but I, I'm not going to get excited about the event if I'm getting eight or five at a time. I <laughs> got Wolverine. Yay. I love it. Adds flavor to the rate. I agree with that too. Yeah, I try my best to use both of the required characters on both of our raids, Ultimus and Beta. Not a huge fan of Blitz, so I like the I like this better than the Blitz Alliance wide milestones. Um, I do too. Here's why I do. Blitz is unlimited like you can do as much blitzes as long as you have characters to blitz with you can keep going like so in the blitz so in the blitz scenario the whales the people that in the late game have way more teams decked out so they can actually they have they have a huger advantage when it comes to the blitz as we're free to play early to mid game players don't now when you switch this to the raids where it doesn't matter which raid you're doing if you're either doing Ultimus 1 or you're doing Ultimus 7. It doesn't matter. The score systems are different. We all get similar energy. So unless the whales want to spend for extra energy, it actually makes the normal gap there is between the beginning player, the free-to-play player, and the whales and the late game players, it makes that gap so much smaller. So honestly, yes, 100% agree with that. It is much better to have these milestones on the raid then you know i'd hate to see the blitz milestones go away just because it is extra free stuff even if i know it's creating a bigger gap in the game 
I, maybe the devs can do something about that. Or, but anyways, yes, the raids are definitely better for everyone all around. More competitive, put it that way. Let's see if I find any more comments I like on this before we just end this video. Oh, here we go. I don't like having to drop back to Ultimate 6 to effectively do them. Uh, yeah, it's only for five days. I think we're going to do fine. Yep, it's my only complaint, but otherwise a great event. This is the... See, it's a risk-reward system. So, I'm sorry that you feel like you need to drop back to do them, but it, if you want the rewards, then you're, you have to give something to get them. At the same time, everyone's at that same level. I, I mean, honestly, I don't know how to fix that, but ultimately, like... Some people just don't like having to give something up to get something else. But at but the end of the day, this game, I've said it in other videos and I'll keep saying it again. It is about resource management in this game. What's worth your time what's not? Getting more uh, shards for purple pools, and, or yeah, purple gear pools and orange gear pools. And not only that, getting a chance of getting like even more Minerva. Yes, Wolverine's in there, but you're getting a chance at getting some other characters like Minerva that, that are really good can't complain like i can't complain if i had to step back a, a an ultimus rank just to be able to do it my lads we can't do ultimate seven yet so we're so on six we kept doing ultimate six and we just got what we could get like if we could change into the character we changed into the character but we just got what we could get and just called it good enough we got a little we got a little extra on top of what we normally do all the time yeah so that, that's it that's my that's my take on it guys that is the video i hope you guys like this if you guys did like this like i said let me know i will do this more regularly I wish the desktop version of Reddit was a lot cleaner, kind of like how my app version of it is. Like my app, it's like super clean. This is not as clean, but anyways, that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.